For the past couple weeks, I've been interested in this idea of using AI tools to automate the entire process of creating a faceless YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you my process and what I've come up with using tools like ChatGPT, along with custom GPTs that automate a lot of the really arduous process, and then tools like Pictory AI that pair that with high quality AI voiceovers and stock video footage to create hopefully something that's really compelling that might spark some ideas of your own. If that sounds interesting, let's get into it. Now the first thing we're gonna do is jump into ChatGPT. Now I've created this custom GPT called All Your Tech AI Media Mentor. I'm gonna share that in the link in the description below for free. And the reason for that is because when I use standard ChatGPT, what I found is it didn't come back with the results that I wanted. Titles and thumbnails weren't quite right using Dolly 3, and it just didn't come back with the quality of scripts that I was hoping for. So what I've done is sort of loaded this model with all the things that I've found over the past couple weeks. Now to start with, let's pick a subject. In my case, I came up with how to stop procrastinating and get work done. So we'll simply say, create titles for a video about how to stop procrastinating and get work done. The way that I've set this up is my custom GPT knows that I want titles that are less than 60 characters in length. And anytime I ask for a title, it's automatically gonna give me 10 of them back, which is perfect because I can find one that's more ideally suited for what I'm trying to get across. On top of that, it also picks the one that thinks we're gonna have the best click-through rate with, which is good for engagement. And if anybody's ever built a YouTube video, you know that having a high click-through rate is kind of the key to having a successful video. Now the title that it came back with as most likely to have the highest click-through rate is Beat Procrastination, Five Simple Steps to Productivity. So that's a good starting point. Now what you can do from there is say, okay, now I also need a YouTube thumbnail. It's always best practices when you're creating a YouTube video to start with the title and the thumbnail before you start writing the script so you know you've got alignment in how things are gonna flow and you've got really concise and targeted subject matter. Now, what it's gonna do here is it's gonna describe the visual that it's going to create for this image. And then it's going to not only create the image, but it also knows that the aspect ratio for YouTube thumbnails is 16 by nine. That's another thing that I kind of pre-built into this custom GPT. Now, here's the first image that it came back with. You'll notice there's some issues with the sizing and scale. I'm not quite in love with this one, but this is one of those things where you can start to have a conversation, go back and forth, and get to something that you really like. One of the things that I've noticed is with text in the image, often I'll just say, don't have any text in the image, don't include text, or you can say, include the text, and you can write it two or three times in the prompt. What that does is it tells Dolly that this is really important to get right. And so oftentimes what I've found is you'll get more images that have correct text if you mention the text multiple times in the prompt. Just an extra tip. From here, what we can do is we can ask it to actually start writing the script. What I like to do first is ask it to do a little bit of research. So do some research on procrastination. This is cool because it's gonna fire up Bing and it's gonna actually browse the web, try and find a few articles on the subject and get more information that's gonna give it a bigger context window that it's gonna be able to use to generate the script in kind of a more coherent and cohesive way. This is fantastic because it came back with a list of different factors that sort of play into the subject. So in this case, psychological factors, emotional and behavioral, and even external influences. That's great information that's gonna be able to be used in the next steps as we create the script. And now it's time for the actual script. So my prompt here is write an engaging story-driven YouTube script. I say story-driven because in my case, I wanna tell a story about a character. I want there to be some human and emotional connection in there, and I want it to follow a story arc. So I've found that that's important, at least for the types of videos that I wanna create. I say without any headings or quotes or brackets, oftentimes, regular GPT or GPT-4 is going to start inserting sort of headings and timestamps and a bunch of other nonsense that we don't need at the end of this in order to paste into Pictory. I give it the title of the video, how to stop procrastinating and get work done. And then I say the script should be 8,000 tokens in length. This is really important. GPT is really bad at counting words, but it's really good at counting tokens because tokens are sort of the underlying thing that GPT and transformer models, large language models understand. So giving it some frame of reference that it knows a lot about 
gives it a little bit better guidance. And then finally, I tell it it's for my YouTube channel, Growth Mindset 365, just so it can tailor the intro and the outro messaging to that. And you can see this is off to a really great start. Imagine you're on a journey navigating through the dense forests of productivity, the vast seas of time management. Our story begins with Max, a talented individual much like yourself. So you can see it's crafting a story about an individual, this case Max, but it's also trying to make it relatable and come back to the individual that's viewing the video, which is a great way to do storytelling and get a point across. So we'll go ahead and let this finish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this output and we're going to paste it into our AI content generator. You can even see here at the end, it says, note the token count for this script is approximately 8,000 tokens, focusing on a continuous, engaging narrative suitable for a YouTube video. You don't get this out of just GPT-4 by default. So that's where these prompts and this extra little bit of effort that I've put into this really comes into play. So we'll jump over to Pictory AI. Now, when you jump into Pictory, and you can start off for free, but then there are also paid accounts. I have a basic paid account because I like using that for these scripts. So one of the options you have once you sign in is script to video. That's where we're going to start this now. That's what I use the most. You can also start with the basis of an article or edit a video using text. But like I said, I, I like to start with a script and sort of go from there. So all you have to do now that we've created our script with GPT is paste it in from the clipboard. So I'm gonna paste this in, you can see our entire script is there, and I'm just gonna click proceed. What it does here is it sets up the template that you're gonna use. Now kind of the key thing here is this is just picking the way that the text is going to show up on screen from the script that you wrote. So I like this one and I'm gonna pick a 16 by nine aspect ratio because again, this is for YouTube. This is where some of the magic is happening. It's taking our script and it's applying visualizations to it using over 2 million different stock footage video clips. It's also getting ready to set up the captions that display across the video, as well as some of the other elements that we're gonna dive into after this. Now this is sort of where the bulk of the work gets done. Now you can scroll through and you can see each of the scenes and how it's on the left hand side, how it's broken down our text into different visualizations and then the visualization that it's actually paired with it. Now don't worry about this watermark in the images, that's gonna go away once we actually render this. But what you wanna do is you wanna go through the story and just ensure that all the different sections have been broken out in a way that makes logical sense. So I like to give that a once over. From there, I jump into the visuals and this is where you can start to make some changes here. So let's say we take a look at this scene, Max, a graphic designer, what we could do is we could say, okay, graphic designer. And this is what this is basically doing is this is searching all the stock footage. So we can find a guy here. And the basic idea is you just wanna pair the images or the videos with the text on screen so that it makes sense. Usually Pictory does a decent job and gets it right most of the time, but I like to just tweak and tune it as I go. I think this video is a little bit better suited to illustrating a graphic designer. We'll go on to the next one. There's a problem he struggled with procrastination. So we can, again, it kind of pops up these tags over here, which help. You can see he struggles with procrastination. So maybe this visualizes procrastination a little bit better. So the idea is you can go through here and kind of tweak the imagery, get it just right, how you want it to look visually and tell the story that's compelling. Once you've done that, jump over into the audio section. For audio, you've got a couple of different options here. You can select from about 15,000 tracks. These are audio tracks that are gonna be playing as background music. You can of course turn that off, but by default, it's going to select a song that it thinks pairs well with the story that you're trying to tell. You can come up here, you can search by genre, purpose. In our case, we can look down here and we can find something that's a little bit closer to an explainer video or an animation. We can select that and you can see that it'll filter down the list of audio tracks that are available based on that. You can give that a listen, see how that sounds. Then you can add a voiceover. This is probably my favorite part of this because you have three different options. Now, if you don't have a paid plan or you have their basic plan, you just get these sort of generic sounding AI voices that'll do the voiceover for your video. Now, these aren't high quality, they're not very good. They're kind of robotic sounding, which is what you'd expect from an AI voiceover. But the cool thing is they also have these really high quality voiceovers that are done by this company called Eleven Labs. 
These for the most part sound really fantastic and depending on the type of video you're making you can select different styles. So British accent for children's stories, American accent, emotional narration, and so you can sort of pick and choose and see what's going to pair well with the type of video that you're doing. Once you've selected that you just click apply. Now you can see that there's this quota up here, 120 minutes. That's how many minutes of that high quality voiceover time that I get. And so this video you can see up here in the upper right is about six minutes in length and so that's going to eat up six minutes of my total voice narration time that I get with these high quality voices. Now there is still another option you can go for. You can actually do a voiceover yourself. You just simply click record voiceover over here in the drop down and you can add your own voice to these videos, which again, it's gonna cut out a lot of the work, uh, but you still get that human touch to it. Once you feel good about that, you can go ahead and hit the preview. It's gonna compile everything together and create a video preview that you can check out. At this point, you can view it, see how it goes, and then go back and make additional edits if you need to. Otherwise, you can click the download button and go ahead and export this as something you can upload straight to YouTube. And here's just a little sneak preview of the final product that I'm actually uploading to a real YouTube channel is kind of an experiment. Imagine you're on a journey, navigating through the dense forests of productivity and the vast seas of time management. Our story begins with Max, a talented individual, much like yourself, someone who dreams big, but often finds himself lost in the maze of procrastination. And that's it for today. Hopefully you found that useful. You got some tips and tricks out of there that maybe you didn't know about before. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, as always, I'm Brian. This is All Your Tech AI.